Hi there. Thank you for joining me today on Reading with Miss Jess. Today's story is Don't Feed the Ducks by Jeremiah Brown. Every Friday evening, Devante and his family walked to the park, and on their way back, they stopped to look at the ducks. Every week, Devante asked his parents if he could feed the ducks. And week after week, his parents pointed to the signs and said, You know we can't, Devante. Today was going to be different, though. Devante was determined to feed the ducks. He carefully snuck some bread from his dinner plate into his jacket. At the park, Devante waited for a moment when his parents weren't looking, and then threw the bread into the pond. All of the ducks swarmed the dinner bread. Devante hadn't expected the ducks to react so wildly. What happened, Devante? asked his mother. The ducks just went crazy. I guess we'll never know why, Devante fibbed. Did you feed the ducks? pressed his mother. No, Devante lied again. We're going home now to talk about telling the truth, responded his mother. Devante was frustrated and also grounded. He wondered why he couldn't feed the ducks. The more he thought about it, the angrier he got. As he dug into his toy box, Devante stood incredulously. They tell me I can't feed the ducks. I'm going to feed this duck and as much as I want. He started off small and gave the duck a toy car which it gobbled up with delight. See, I can feed the ducks, Devante said to himself as he searched for more things to feed it. He noticed his sister had left her doll in his room and thought, well, she left it in here, it's not my fault, and fed it to the duck. Feeding the duck made Devante feel satisfied, and he continued to feed it until there was nothing left in his room to eat. Devante's parents were watching TV in the living room, so Devante snuck the duck past them into the kitchen to look for more things to eat. Wow, there was a lot to feed the duck in here. Devante fed it food, appliances, and anything else he could find. Each item he gave brought Devante a little bit more delight. Suddenly, he heard his parents getting up in the other room. Devante closed all the cabinets and shoved the duck into the pantry. I'm just getting a snack, Mommy, and then I'll go back to bed, Devante said hurriedly as his mother walked into the kitchen. Whew, that was close, agreed Devante. Then he noticed everything in the pantry was gone. Oh no, you need to stop eating, exclaimed Devante. But the duck didn't pay any attention and just moved toward the living room. Wait, duck, please stop eating everything, pleaded Devante. The duck seemed to understand him a little, but continued eating anyway. Devante knew he should ask his mom for help, but didn't want to admit what he had done. His thoughts about solving this problem himself were interrupted by a bang and a crash. As the duck had finished devouring everything in the living room and burst through the wall to outside.
The duck ate bushes, fences, and cars. Then trees, barns, and houses. He grew bigger and bigger and more dangerous with every item he consumed. Now should I tell my mom? wondered Devante. Eventually, the duck had gotten so big that it began to eat mountains, rivers, and ponds. Devante realized there was nothing more he could do. He shouldn't have fed the ducks. Mommy, I'm sorry, yelled Devante. What's wrong, Devante? asked his mother, rushing into his room. I'm sorry, Mommy. I won't, I won't feed the ducks, and I'll tell the truth next time, said Devante. His mom replied softly. It's okay, Devante. I appreciate you telling me that, and I love you very much. And don't worry. It's not like anything really bad happened, right? Don't feed the ducks. <laughs>